I want to talk to you about your journey to mm -hmm. diagnosis. You have written about it. You have done a documentary about it. You say that you had symptoms starting at seven years old. I mean, there is a pre-dromal period, so I'm not certain that it actually was like a full-on, but there is. My neurologist was saying there can be years of pre-dromal you know, accruing and great fatigue and problems. And but I did, I had, the, I had the thing where you bend down, I get electricity. I had very clear signs at that time. I had optical neuritis as a child, which really is only from brain trauma or MS. And yet they didn't recognize it in me, even though I was seeking doctors my entire childhood. Talk to me about what that experience was like in a little bit more depth. I understand mm -hmm. you also had fevers and to relieve mm -hmm. your pain, you turned to alcohol. Mm -hmm. What was that period of your life like, Selma? I honestly have to say the period from three until about five years ago was hell on earth for me. And I'm not saying I had a horrible life, but the amount of discomfort, disbelief um, from the kids at school, all the doctors, I, I couldn't trust myself. They were saying, there's nothing wrong with you, histrionic, oh, this fever, there must, they couldn't find it. I mean, I had a fever of 101 for five years. You know, it just never went away. And I had CAT scans. I didn't have bladder function. I was always, I mean, I spent my entire childhood on high antibiotics and until I developed anaphylaxis to like all of them. And, and yet it was just like, oh, this dramatic girl. So that became like my character and I blame myself. So I had a lot of medical trauma. Well, and it sounds like doctors made up all sorts of excuses. Mm -hmm. The ones you're talking about, one doctor even told you maybe you need a boyfriend. boyfriend. What was that like? Was I, it infuriating? I just cry. I just cried. I had no capability to process. What am I supposed to do with this information? I knew the pain was real. I thought it was, but I did start to convince myself you're overly sensitive. There's nothing wrong with you. Get it together, you lazy, lazy, mm. whatever. You know, I've developed a really different language with myself than I've learned over the past few years. And it was very uncomfortable. I was really stayed on the dark side. I was not, I didn't have energy to be with friends. I didn't, and, and, and actually when I was older, there was so much medical trauma, always seeking and doctors really either taking advantage at that time or really just not seeing me. And it was a gender bias. Well, um, a lot of it, because there would be a boy in my grade that would go in for the exact same chronic headache and fever, and he is, you know, in surgery and an MRI within the week. I was never given an MRI, even though I was always had headaches and fever and balance, or my leg didn't work. But they just said, "Oh, it's just dramatic," you know. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app, or follow us on social media.